Good morning and welcome to our morning practice, morning meditation, flourishing during times of uncertainty, and this is our meditation group. My name is Father Frank Buckley. Delighted you are here this morning. It is a three-part program. First, we start with a little inspiration. This morning, I will continue from Friday with a, a little poem to get us started. The second part will be the 20-minute meditation. And then the last part will be a little Jesuit examine. So before we get started this morning with the inspiration, I'd like to begin by offering some of the community um, spe special prayers today. Uh, Again, I am broadcasting from my house because I have an appointment today, so I'm not sure Kate is going to be able to get in the comment box, but first and foremost, I'd like to offer this morning's meditation for Kate's brother, uh, who we have been praying for, who uh, died this morning. So let us keep Al in our prayers, as well as Kate and her whole family during this uh very difficult time. So uh, I'd like to pray for Al. I would also like to continue to pray for all of our Jesuit brothers in the uh, in Los Gatos in the infirmary. Uh, many, many of them have COVID. And of course, last week I shared with you, uh, Father Bob Matthewson died. Uh, someone very dear to us at LMU and USF, Father Paul Bernardicue died. And then lastly, uh, someone I know is very close to us right now, especially when we do the Jesuit exam, and he absolutely loved Ignatian spirituality and spent his life doing direction and bringing the exercises to people, Father Joe Feist. So let's also uh, keep them in our prayers as well as everyone, uh, the caretakers at Los Gatos, for all those across the globe who are struggling with COVID and for their caretakers. These are very challenging times. One thing I have found very helpful as I have been praying over these people who have crossed over uh, is this beautiful poem by Rumi called The Guest House. And I would like to uh, begin our inspiration with it for this morning and then we'll move into the meditation. So let me just get there. So the title of the poem by Rumi is The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness <coughs> comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Thank you, Rumi, for the beautiful inspiration for this morning to lead us into our meditation. So for the meditation, I invite you to take your shoes off if you would like, get comfortable. One of the ways we flourish is to unplug. I am going to set the timer for 20 minutes so you don't have to even worry about that. I'll ring the bell to begin. I'll do a little guided meditation to get us into it. And then we'll sit and enjoy the miracle of meditation in our everyday ordinary lives. Let's begin.
listen, listen, the sound of this beautiful bell returns us to our true home. As always, we begin with diaphragmatic breathing, that is breathing deeply as possible into the lower tummy three times, in through the nose, out through the mouth, to get us grounded. Together as a community, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, two more times, inhale and exhale. Last time, deeply as possible, inhale and exhale. Continue to breathe on your own. Take the attention to the body. We sit between heaven and earth. We take the attention to the feet pressed onto the earth and just ground ourselves of our daily lives. Feel the feet pressing on to the earth. Moving up the body, we arrive at the chair providing support especially during this pandemic we all need a little lives let's focus on where we felt supported recently and just lean into that support a little bit right now Moving up the body, we arrive at the shoulders. Anything that's been weighing us down, heavy on us, we just let go, lighten up, allow it to slide off the shoulders and surrender. Moving towards the front of the body, we arrive at the heart, the place the spiritual world touches the physical world, that space where we can really cultivate a beautiful attitude of gratitude for the breath. So let's just focus on something we're grateful for this morning. Name it in one word. Gently place it next to your heart. And if you'd like, take your hands to your heart. Gently place that word next to your heart. And as a community across the globe, let's breathe into that gratitude one time. Together, inhale. And exhale. And just notice what you feel. Finally, we arrive at the forehead, the seat of intuition, that area between our eyebrows that always tells the truth. And we focus on an intention for today. St. Ignatius would say, be courageous enough to ask God for something you deeply desire in this moment. Seal that intention with an inhale and then exhale, release the hands, sit back, engage your sacred word four or five times, take the attention to the traffic, notice the sensations in the body, drop down and enjoy the miracle of meditation. Please continue.
to gently bring your attention back to the room. If your eyes were closed, go ahead, open the eyes. Let's circle the wrist one way, then the other. A little morning stretch. It's all about the spine. A little twist to the left and to the right. Release. Shake on anything you've been holding on to. Wonderful job, everyone. Thank you for tuning in this morning. We'll move to something near and dear to Ignatius's own heart, the morning examine. And with that, we'll just look over the weekend on Mondays and notice where on Mondays we look back over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and just notice where God came alive for us. Please feel free to drop it in the comment box. If you're new, introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, say hello. In my humble opinion, you've just connected with the best community in all of Hollywood. Um, so doing the examine, I'm going to just kind of go over three places I noticed God come alive for me this weekend. Most of you... Mm, let me start with, uh, I got a text over the weekend from a very good friend of mine, Kelly Stone, who is the uh, owner, the inventor, the owner, the imagination between uh, Planet Hope. And at Christmas every year, they get literally hundreds of presents and wrap them <coughs> and hand them out to uh kids all over LA who wouldn't normally get Christmas presents at this time. And uh, she texted me and of course with COVID, it's not gonna be the big wrapping party like they usually have, but they are still gonna give out uh, gifts to kids who wouldn't normally get Christmas presents and asked me if I, uh, if I could uh, suggest some places to give these gifts. And of course, the first place that came to my mind was Homeboy and I texted uh, Father Greg, and as only he can do, he said, of course, just when I asked who and where and how to get these gifts, he said, just have her come whenever she can and drop them off, and we'll be more than happy to receive them. So many of the families at Homeboys and Homegirls will be getting some beautiful Christmas gifts from Planet Hope. So thank you, Kelly Stone. Christmas came early for me this year with that text message. Uh, Second, most of you know I did the uh, Y12SR uh, Yoga Recovery and Addiction 12-Step Recovery Workshop with uh, Nikki Meyer. That was so fantastic this weekend. She kept coming back to this idea that we sit between heaven and earth and that the issues are in the tissues. Uh, most of you know I love yoga, so I got to do spend the weekend doing a lot of practices. Uh, Nikki is 68 and a great, great grandmother, I think. And I told her after one of the classes, no one has ever given me a workout quite like that, especially a great, great grandmother. Um, my tongue was literally hanging out. All good, of course. So I love that. And then uh, last but not least, uh, how much do I love this community? Um, I really love Rumi and you know, with Kate's brother dying, with so many Jesuits sick in our infirmary and others dying, my favorite line of that poem by Rumi, the line I heard this morning like I've never heard quite before, um, this, this room is a guest house. Every morning a new arrival. Every morning a new arrival. And how to say welcome. Not easy, um, but Rumi certainly, uh, when we imagine our life as a guest, guest house, as welcoming each new arrival, something does shift a little. And uh, I have to tell you, in these challenging times, I cannot think of any better gift we could give ourselves than a community where we come together and uh, give the do a 20 minute meditation practice where we engage a morning practice. I go back again and again to the words of the famous contemplative Father Thomas Keating. He says, when we give this time to God, we absolutely just cannot do it wrong. 
Thank you for joining uh, all of us, for joining together as a community on this beautiful Monday morning. Uh, have a beautiful day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.